Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumai Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is iodolactonization or iodolactone preparation. It is a very effective, selective and mild reaction condition. So we shall learn about it. But before going to details, one MCQ in front of you. So you can see the question. I request you student, please pause the video. Try by yourself and write your answer in the comment box. Don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong, please try because self-evaluation is essential for improvement. So now let's come to the main topic. But before going to details, I want to explain some terms in front of you because today's discussion is iodolactonization. So question what lactone actually is. It is a cyclic carboxylic acid ester or you can say intramolecular ester. So you can see here this is hydroxy carboxylic acid depending on number of this N the corresponding acids are produced. So if N equal to 1 then it is alpha acetolactone, if N equal to 2 it is beta-propiolactone, if N equal to 3 this is uh, this butyrolactone in this way it goes on and this is a 3 member lactone, this is a 4, this is a 5, this is a 6. How this name is came? Since the first carbon is called alpha carbon, so that's why it is alpha. So this is alpha, this is beta, so this is beta. It means where the hydroxyl group is attached. Is it attached in alpha carbon? Is it attached in beta carbon? Or is it attached in gamma carbon? So depending on the first niche, where the hydroxyl is attached. Second, how many number of rings? Third, what is the carbon chain present in the lactone? So this thing matters. And by the way, this is ester formation. So it is associated with elimination of water. And student, please remember another example that is caprolactone. This caprolactone is also a, uh, this lactone means cyclic ester, which is used for a very important polymer polycaprolactone preparation. I have already discussed in a dedicated video. You may visit. Now, another term is halohydrin. This halohydrin is also called haloalcohol or beta haloalcohol. Means this is the alpha carbon, this is the beta. So beta haloalcohol. It's actually one two position. The pos adjust position of this hydroxyl and bromine is one two. So they are at bonded to adjacent carbon atom. And now you can see this epoxide. If you open this epoxide in presence of acid this 1 to alcohol could be produced and by the way I have already made a dedicated lecture on this epoxide opening you may visit for better understanding. Now let us come to our main topic of discussion that is iodolactronization. This iodolactronization or more generally if you say it is an halolactronization is an organic reaction that forms a ring or lactone by the addition of an oxygen and iodine across a carbon carbon double bond. It is an intramolecular variant of halohydrin synthesis. Means one side is halo and another side is carbon oxygen bond. So this is the basic of understanding and this happened in presence of iodine, sodium bicarbonate. This is the reagent and in this case DCM or dichloromethane is the solvent. Now let us learn about the mechanism how this reaction happens. Sodium bicarbonate act as a base to deprotonate the carboxylic acid to corresponding salt. And by the way, please remember one very important test or detection of carboxylic acid that is reaction with bicarbonate which produces the effervescence of carbon dioxide and it converted into the corresponding salt. So this is the acid base reaction and this is the fastest reaction. Second, there is iodine and we know iodine is actually an electrophilic reagent means it can react with the double bond and undergo addition and the reaction proceeds through a bridge iodonium formation. So in the first step it reacted with this double bond and produces this bridge iodonium derivative which subsequently expected to get open up either by counter iodide or by the oxygen present in the neighboring group means this AC, as in this carboxylic derivative. Now this oxygen is having the proper conformational orientation with the carbon iodine bond. So this is the sigma star you can consider. So that's why it can easily overlap with this oxygen and form 
दिस कार्बन ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट अ इंटर इंट्रा मॉलिक्यूलर रिएक्शन एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज फास्टर कंपेयर टू इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर रिएक्शन बिकॉज इंट्रा मॉलिक्यूलर रिएक्शन आर प्रेफर्ड ओवर इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर बाय बोथ थर्मोडायनेमिकली एज वेल एज काइनेटिकली सो इन दिस वे व्हाट वी आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग one is carbon oxygen bond another is carbon iodine bond so that's why this is called iodo lactonization now so we are focusing on iodo lactonization why not bromo lactone or chloro lactone because we know iodine is relatively costly reagent and not that much available like bromine and chlorine so why we don't try them first of all if we look at chlorine the chlorine handling is difficult as it is gas at room temperature and most importantly it is more reactive reagent so it is less selective but what about the bromine because bromine is a liquid reagent in this case student bromine produces the desired lactone product in the same reaction mechanism but along with that it produces the side product and what this side product this side product if you look closely this is simple bromine addition to the carbon carbon double bond so this is the side product means uh, in case of this bromo lactone formation the impurity is the main concern so that's why this iodo lactone is preferred over bromo lactone now another part of this reaction is the selectivity of this product and this is governed by a very famous rule that is baldwin's rule and generally we observe that exclusively this five member lactones are produced not six member how i have given the orbital uh, picture how the attack happens point number 1 second in this case you can ask that sir uh, in this case five member ring is produced but not six member we know the six member ring is associated with relatively lesser amount of angle strain compared to the five member ring so why this is happen student five member ring formation is favored because of a term proper conformational orientation so that's why five member ring is preferred and second thing is this baldwin's rule so that's why you see this five exotet is favored pathway for this iodo lactone formation because this is nothing but a intramolecular sn2 type reaction so please remember this thing for your exam so you will never see this six member derivative you will always see this exclusively this five member ring formation now in this context there is an another context concept that is kcp versus tcp in this case you can see in the product two stereoisomers are there here one one and here this now question in the reactant how many stereoisomers were there only one this one now if you look at the condition little closely the with first and second see the second one is actually tcp or thermodynamically controlled product question why see this in case of second the reaction time is more solvent also difficult so generally for thermodynamically controlled product more time is needed and why this is thermodynamically controlled because it is more stable so why this is more stable in order to understand that you need to understand the conformation in cyclopentane ring system what happens here this phenyl and iodine is in anti position and by the way we have taken this from the starting this phenyl is in the upside now why this is so you can see this phenyl is upside means you may consider he, this part is the phenyl so uh, you should you may not give this just a line phenyl and the ch2i is anti means this is the ch2 this is the i so they are far apart to each other so the steric repulsion among them is minimum whereas if you consider the cis product in this case phenyl and ch2i in the same side so this is the phenyl and this is the ch2i so the repulsion between these two group is relatively more so that's why it produced in faster rate but it is relatively less stable now question why this kcp or this product is produced in faster rate see in this case ch2i is the above side means this oxygen is the below side now if you look at the attack means this hydroxy this oxygen lone pair will attack either from the top side or bottom side so this oxygen in the top side 
in the top side there is phenyl so these two group in the space can have some repulsive interaction because phenyl is not a simple group it's an aromatic group means it has the electron cloud so that have some repulsion whereas if these oxygen attacks from the bottom side no such kind of interaction will be faced by this oxygen so that's why attacking is easier from the bottom side so that's why you can see this kinetic this is the kinetic product where oxygen and phenyl are in anti so this phenyl and this oxygen both are in anti type orientation so that's why this is produced faster and that's why it is called the kinetically controlled product or cis product or kcp whereas the other one is tcp so now i think you have understood now so what you have learned today that selective reaction for halolactone preparation that is iodolactone preparation and for this re uh, reaction the reaction condition is very mild you can see and that's the uniqueness of this reaction also and in this case the selectivity of the product is governed by baldwin's rule means the five member ring is obtained exclusively and finally it is this iodolactone is a precursor for other chemical formation because ultimately there is a carb c i bond is there and we know iodine is a good living group so you can take any nucleophile and through sn2 type reaction you can do many type of substitution and other reaction also possible for example reductive elimination with zinc acetic acid etc so that's why it's a, it could be utilized as precursor for other chemical preparation too so let's come back to our today's question so this is the question is in front of you the this part is actually alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl this is an isolated double bond carboxylic acid and here sodium bicarbonate iodine potassium iodide potassium iodide helps to solubilize iodide iodine by formation of ki3 means polyhalogen anion now in this case this double bond will react with iodine because it's more electron rich compared to this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl double bond so it will not react so first it will react and it will produce and bridge iodonium ion so this part i guess you all understood so this is fine and during that process there is sodium bicarbonate in the reaction medium so what you can expect that the, this will be carboxylate anion so this part is clear now in the next step now let's please count how what is the ring number this is 1 2 3 4 5 so according to baldwin's rule five member ring formation happen so it will attack here and it will open and by the way student there is a counter iodide anion in the reaction medium so please don't get confused so after that it will form a five member ring point number one and second this next carbon will have this carbon iodine bond so in which case it is there obviously this now this question is student so option b is the answer this is not actually a difficult question if you know the concept you can do very easily because this in this reaction there is iodine and this is iodolactonization reaction now in which double bond iodine is expected to react iodine will react that double bond which is most electron rich now this double bond is not possible so this is gone so this option gone option d gone now option this is alpha iodo this alpha kit means alpha carbon hydrogen bond but did i give any alkali so not possible or did i put any acid means acidic not possible so it is not means this alpha halogenation of carbonyl is not possible here second no heat is given very milder condition so decarboxylative elimination then iodide attachment not possible no co2 elimination possible so this what option left this so although if you don't know about this iodolactonization based on your common sense and understanding you can come to the right answer so that's the uniqueness of this question so i believe you have learned a lot so please write your opinion in the comment box and i request you please visit my another channel climate and chemistry where i upload global warming and climate change related videos so thank you see you in my next video bye bye